Chayim. I'm going to be reading today from As If the Rain Fell in Ordinary Time, published from by Ebracy Press. Um, and this one is another one back from my uh, youth uh, in Waterbury, Connecticut. Uh, and I have called this the uh, poem of my youth. Some some folks would have thought misguided. I thought great adventure, and at the time it was. Everything in it is kind of related to the geography of the city, and yeah. So let's just go, shall we? It's called immortal, immortal beloved. There is no such thing as Beethoven in Waterbury. No one sees him buying race forms or cigarettes at Bobby's Corner. He doesn't play pinball at Daz's, chalk a cue at Jetlock's, panhandle a concert crowd at the Palace Theater, order blue ribbon shorts at Backstreet's Bar, or sit in dressers after three, sipping cool, tall, dark drafts. He's not protesting the war at Library Park, selling acid from the Kingsbury Hotel, falling asleep on Christmas Eve with a girl named Mary in the chapel of St. John's Church. Strung out on girl, strung out girls don't get to build snowmen on the green with him. Manituck music can't hire him to move their stock, and the old man at the palace liquors can't argue with him anymore. Hare Krishnas can't get him to do their chanting. Doorways where he stood out of the rain for hours are empty or are gone. Strangers at the all-night bus station, killers on their way to Canada, women from Louisiana, never meet him anymore. He doesn't share a table with downtown Shirley and her father, foretell the death of walking stick Louie betrayed by Tiger Teddy, sell more orange sunshine than Bobby Comfort, or blow a joint with the new riders of the Purple Sage, love a reincarnated baton twirling beauty queen from North Carolina, let Catholic schoolgirls follow him home, cry when he had to let them go. He doesn't clamor along the rooftops with a friend named Bird, who never got to California find free warmth in the library, or in the stairwells of the Brown Building, or for a quarter a slice, get to see, sit behind the pizza ovens at Dominic's. And no one sees him sitting on the fire escapes, drinking Roma California Port with Whitey and Charlie Brown. There's no such thing as Beethoven in Waterbury anymore. On the corner of Lewis and West Main, Beethoven's lover stands, Lying several schoolgirls waiting on a bench across the street. There's nothing happens for her in this town anymore. Yet, still, she dyes her hair red for him, refuses to ever ride a bus, and her pale lips still struggle with those lucky strikes, just like always in his dreams. Thank you for spending the time listening and watching. Good luck.